Hi, I'm Chris Calver from Vex Robotics, and I'm here to set your challenge as part of Rapid Education's six weeks of challenges. Uh, so my challenge includes robotics, coding, art, and creativity. We've got some cool Vex Hexbug prizes to give away for both primary school and secondary school age categories. Um, and we're going to be using the new VexCode VR platform uh, for this challenge. So VexCode VR is a web-based coding tool, so you can use it in a browser window on a PC, Mac, uh, iPads, Chromebooks, other tablets. Um, and the idea of VexCode VR is it allows you to use a graphical uh, block-based programming language to program a virtual on-screen robot. So anyone can pick this up and do it, anyone can take part and anyone can enter the challenge. Uh, okay, so let me show you a bit about VexCode VR and how to enter. So the first thing I want you to do uh, is to navigate to um, vex, uh, sorry, to vr.vex.com. So go into your browser, go to vr.vex.com, and that will take you straight to the VexCode VR interface. Um, so VexCode VR, it's based on uh, Scratch 3.0, so it's a really familiar kind of coding interface uh, also uses the same interface as as the vex robotics uh, vex code iq blocks and vex code v5 blocks programming languages so um, should be very familiar to lots of people uh, on the left hand side of the screen you've got your toolbox with all of your um, commands split down into various categories uh, then your main sort of code area here in the middle and uh, as i mentioned this is a virtual um, coding environment for vir a virtual robot and that runs in what we call a playground so you'll need to click on the playground icon and that will load up the playground in a window uh, that floats above your code area uh, and you can click if you've got enough screen space you can click the expand uh, icon there just to make your playground a little bit bigger so the playground is the virtual environment with the virtual robot in here is the little virtual robot down in the bottom left hand corner if I click on this camera here, I can switch to uh, a three-dimensional view, which I can use my mouse to scroll around, uh, and then this button to flick back to my top-down view. So the, the virtual robot has got a few different sensors on it. It's got some bumper switches uh, at the front. It's got a gyro. It's got color sensors. Um, the motors have uh, integrated encoders, so you can uh, tell it to, to travel um, very accurate distances. And it also has a little pen. Um, on the top here that can be moved up and down and uh, the color changed and so you can uh, you can draw um, draw patterns on the ground with that now for this challenge we're going to be using a playground called the art canvas so using this drop down here switch to art canvas which is just a, um, a large empty playground there we go that you can just use the pen to draw all over and that sort of sets the scene for what our challenge is we want you to use the vex vr virtual robot to draw anything you like it could be um it could be a, a pattern sort of like a spirograph kind of pattern it could be um uh, it could be words it can be uh, it can be a self-portrait a picture of a robot whatever you want it to be and just use your imagination and try to come up with a way to make the robot draw that picture so let me give you a quick overview of how you make the robot draw. Um, firstly, let's just switch back to the top view. Um, in the toolbox, we've got the drivetrain commands. They're the ones here that make the robot move. Uh, and if we go to the looks, you can see that we have move pen down or up. And we have set pen color to black, red, green, or blue. So let's uh, create a really simple program just to make the robot draw a square. So I'm going to move the pen down, set the pen color to, let's say, red. And then I want the robot to move in a square. And a square is uh, four equal length sides, four equal uh, angles at the corners. And so I can use a repeat loop there. So I'm going to use my repeat loop. And because it's a square and has four sides and four corners, I'm going to... So I want to repeat this movement four times, and the movement I want to repeat is drive forwards for 400 millimeters, and then I want to turn for 90 degrees. So that block can be either turn right or turn left, and this one can be either forwards or reverse. So I'm going to go forwards uh, for 400, then turn right 90 degrees, and then repeat four times. Uh, and then when I want to see what that looks like, I hit the play button here, in my uh, playground and there goes the robot if i switch to the 3d view 
There we go, we can see him driving around, drawing a line behind him as he goes. And back to where it started. Um, so what other blocks can uh, we use? Well, pretty much anything in in uh, uh, in the toolbox that's available to you. You might want to, for example, use uh, some of the mathematical functions under operators if you want to be creating um, some patterns. So you've got all of your mathematical functions here. Um, you might want to create variables. Uh, again, very useful if you're creating patterns. So variables here, you can uh, click make a new variable there um, to create uh, whatever you want. So say we were creating a pattern and we wanted to store line length, for example. Um, we can create that as a variable. Um, we can create uh, a list. So we have a, um, uh, a single column list. So that's up to 10 um, items of data stored in a list or you can have a 2D list, which could be up to 10 by 10, so 100 items of data stored in that. Again, very useful for drawing patterns. Um, and you've also got the my blocks command, which allows you to create functions. So if I create a block, for example, that says, let's call this block square. I can then define what I want the code for square to be. Well, this is my square code. And then I can call that in my main program. So there we go, that, will, that block now will draw a square as defined here. Um, and then I could say, after that, I want to lift my pen up. Reverse, let's say for 600 millimeters. Then I'm going to put my pen back down again. Change the color of it, so let's say now we're going to switch it to blue and then draw another square and I have my my block defined for square so now I can just put that in rather than having to repeat the code so if I reset my environment by uh, clicking the reset button here and run that code we got the first square you can see what code is being executed here it lights up with a little green uh, line around the outside as it's being executed when that's finished doing its four it will jump back to here drive backwards and then draw another square uh, and I've crashed into the edge there because I meant to change this to reverse and not forwards. And so you can see my robot has <laughs> plowed into the edge before it managed to complete its 600 uh, millimeters. So these are the sort of challenges that you need to overcome um, for this task. And uh, we want you to be as creative as you possibly can and see what, uh, see what um, sketches and uh, what drawings you can come up with. Once you've done that, so once you've got your drawing, what we'd like you to do is just take a screen capture of just the playground, not your code. Um, so in Windows, for example, we could use the uh, snipping tool. And I want you to just capture that part um, and post a screen capture of your playground on Twitter, tagging at Vex Robotics UK and at Rapid Education so that we get to see those. You also need to save your code. So go to File, save to your device and that will download the code to your device and you can email the code as well to uh, education at rapidonline.com which will help us to uh, verify the drawings as they come through and then we will be judging for the best drawing in the uh, primary age category and the secondary age category. So to see the full uh, terms and conditions for entering and the full rules, um, if you go to the URL that is in the description of this video, uh, that will take you to the rapid site where you can see exactly what you need to do uh, and how to enter. Um, good luck everyone and we look forward to seeing your creations.